Hey guys, this is Magical Lady Duchess and Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy 2018! I promise you, this will be the greatest year of your life, or at least the beginning to the greatest year of your life, if you play your cards right. If you do the work, if you put in the energy, it can totally happen for you. So, what I've decided to do, I'm going to discuss 12 good look charms you might already have in your house just in time for the new year. Put it in your wallet, put it for your first week. Today's only the third, so I'm a couple of days behind, but I'm not that behind to help you manifest 2018 to be one of the best and greatest years of your life. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do or you can get is cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks, according to some, keeping cinnamon sticks in your purse or your wallet will bring you steady income. Um, or at least they'll make the credit card smell good in your wallet and your driver's license. <laughs> so cinnamon sticks is number one. The second thing is lentil. Lentils are also said to be really good financial good luck charms, and they're often eaten like the first meal of the year in Brazil, too, for this particular purpose. A lot of African-American people and people from the Caribbean as well, they eat um, black eyed peas. We eat black eyed peas at the beginning of the year, or the first year meal of the new year has black eyed peas because it's said to bring luck as well. The third thing is a goldfish. Yeah. I know, a goldfish, right? But a goldfish kept in an aquarium in your home brings positivity and it also brings good luck. So if you're wanting to get, if you want to get really crazy, you can normally do like eight goldfishes with the black one to remove bad luck. I know all of these are going to sound crazy, but I promise you guys, this works. So the next one is three keys. Wearing three keys together is said to be good luck, you know, because one unlocks the door to health, wealth, and love, respectfully. But hopefully, um, building a door, your apartment, or in your car, um, you can, you know, three keys. They don't have to be these three keys. They could be any three keys. But I like these because, you know, it looks festival and stuff like that, right? Right. So the next thing um, is the acorn. I love to put acorns, um, like acorn, like in, on my um, altars, my prosperity work. I love acorns. Acorns are really good. And one of my best girlfriends has an acorn tree. She's yet to give me some of her acorns that she promised me. But every time I go down there, I always get some. So acorns, acorns, acorns is supposed to be lucky and it helps you to preserve your youth, attraction of the opposite sex, um, and general prosperity. So the next one that you might found really crazy is, and that's just my dog in the back playing and shit, having no respect for this video. Um, the next one is spiders. I know, right? Spiders. Spiders are supposed to be good luck in the matters of trade, also for weavers, but on the other hand, screaming. <laughs> but anyway, spiders are really supposed to be like good luck. So uh, what my assistant would do is when she sees a spider, she would actually take it and put it in a jar for me. So you guys remember spiders are like good luck. And so they can help you in 2018. Um, the next one is alfalfa spice, and that's A-L-F-A, L-F-A spice. Alfalfa spice, not to be confused with alfalfa sprouts, though I can't see why those wouldn't hurt either. But anyway, it's said to be really good luck in business and for personal and gambling, uh, or personal finances and those who like to gamble and stuff like that. Um, the next one is a redhead. It said if you rub a redhead, a person with red hair, it's supposed to bring good luck. <laughs> but redheads themselves are also to be, uh, they say that people with redheads are actually, uh, they have terrible luck, uh, like on the first morning in May or something like that. I know that seems crazy, but yeah. Also, white socks. I know. 
It sounds crazy, but white socks might not seem especially meaningful, but they're one direction uh, that member Niall Horan, he said that it's his good luck charm, right? And he seems to be doing okay. Anyway, <laughs> white socks. Try to wear a pair this week. Um, also, number 10, because I know I tend to have lost number. Number 10, a money plant. A money plant ivories are good money plants those chinese bamboo those are money plants but uh a money plant is supposed to bring you wealth in your home um just not as directed as you would imagine a hope but it, it helps to bring or to generate good luck and good energy um the next one is b-e-z-o-a-r bizarre 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 um they look like little beans. And so if you might not actually like already have them, um, look it up. Amazon, they have every freaking thing. Um, and also number 12 is like a, where is it? A raccoon penis bone. And I just so happen to have that. So give me one second. Cause I just bought a whole bunch of herbs and stuff. Ah, here we go. This is how it looks. I know it's crazy, but um, they're really good for fidelity, loyalty, um, wanting a person to respect you and take good care of you. These are really now. I don't know if the raccoon penis is this long. I don't know. Damn, if it is, but. <laughs> I just thought that I would help you guys on getting good luck, having great luck for 2018. Remember to say your affirmations. Remember to be super positive. Remember the law of attraction, guys. Remember, whatever you think is what you shall have. Whatever energy you put out there, that's what you're going to get back. So stop the negative talk. Stop being pessimistic. You got a brand new year to start over. Make you a list of the things that you want to accomplish and fucking do them. I just messed up my money for this YouTube video. Shit. <laughs> but that's okay. So anyway, if you are interested in consultations or full readings or any type of work, you can go onto my website at www.magicalladyduchess.com. That's M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L ladyduchess.com. I do love consultations because I, I don't recommend anybody necessarily doing any work until you have somebody to kind of look into your situation, even if it's not me. Just don't be so quick to do it. Um, so go onto my website, check out my online store. I have my little favorite sugar daddy kid. My reversal kits, they work, they work, they work, they work. And this is the first of the year and everybody should be doing some reversal work. And I'm not even playing. I'm totally dead serious. Everybody should be doing some reversal work. Whatever it is happening to you, generational curses, if you think somebody put something on you, this shit works. And it's not high as hell either. <laughs> so go onto my website, check out my online store. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I appreciate it making it. Have a wonderful 2018. I appreciate and I love you all. Much respect. Blessed be to you guys. And this is my video on 12 good luck charms you might already have in your home. Bye for now.